Hi guys, it's Angie coming at you today with a short little unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So this is a painting that was a new release um, maybe three weeks ago. Today is Thursday, September 2nd, and I, I believe it'll be, it'll be three weeks ago that this came out on Saturday. I did not order it right away. Um, I looked at it and looked at it and looked at it some more. And it was one that definitely caught my eye, but I wasn't super sure about it. The more I thought about it, the more I decided I wanted it. So unfortunately, our box has come in a little schmunched. So thank you, post office, for that. But that's okay because we're not diamond painting the box, are we? No, we are not. So what did I get? You can tell already that it is a round diamond painting because the stripe on our box is pink and it has the circular logo that says uh, Diamond Art Kit. So let's get into it and see. I'm not even going to show you the, uh, the little photo. So the first thing we have in our kits from Diamond Art Club is the tool kit. It has everything that you need to diamond paint and then some if you have never diamond painted before. Um, diamond Art Club gives you a clear tray with a funnel, a uh, squishy, and a pen. The squishy is a grip to make the pen more comfortable in your hand. You also get a four-placer multi-placer, and this is one of the thin, narrow multi-placers. And then this one comes with a whole heap of baggies. So you have a lot of baggies for putting your, um, if you want to kit up into baggies, or if you use these to store your spare drills after you're finished with the project, which is what I do. Um, you've got a lot of baggies there and two um, pads of heart-shaped wax. This wax is better than your average square wax, square pink wax than you get that you get with, you know, some of the more budget friendly diamond paintings that you'll work with. A general rule of thumb if you're new to diamond painting is the more opaque the wax is, the better the wax is. In other words, the less that you can see through it, the better it's going to work for you. And um, I've definitely found that to be the case over the years of diamond painting. I don't use wax anymore. I use micro dots in my single placer um, and not your mama's mud in my multi-placer. But just to let you know, the other thing that Diamond Art Club includes with their diamond painting kits is a small sticker that you can put on your log book or on your forehead or wherever you want to put it. My favorite spot to put it is my forehead. And this is the painting that we have today. It's called Cherry Tree by Deborah Malcolm. And it is a 76 by 51, which equates to exactly a 30 by 20 inch diamond painting. So this is one that you can frame with a standard frame from Hobby Lobby or Michaels or someplace like that. So I love it, love it, love it when we have those uh, dimensions that work out into a frame that comes in inches for here us here in the U.S. Um, it also is wrapped in this plastic sleeve for protection. Diamond Art Club canvases, they use what's called a tarpaulin canvas. It's very, very soft on the back side, which I really enjoy because I like to have a little give. I'm a hard presser and I like to have a little give when I'm, when I'm drilling. Um, this it also has scalloped and surged edges to prevent against fraying. It is a poured glue canvas, so I'm going to go ahead and roll it backwards to so it'll lie flat. Now this type of canvas will lie flat automatically on its own. Give it five minutes. It literally, um, they lie flat almost immediately after taking them out of the box. And I love that because they don't retrain, retain any of the creases, you don't have to put it under anything heavy. You can get right to work working on this straight out of the box, which is one thing that I do enjoy about Diamond Art Club canvases. You also in every kit get step-by-step -step instruction guides on how to diamond paint in case you've never done it before. Um, and you also are going to get a larger sticker sheet that has a larger picture of the image along with a start and place for you to put in your start and end date, 
has the dimensions and the artist's name and the name of the painting, as well as pre-scored stickers that have all of our symbols and DMC codes for all of the drills. So this makes kitting up a breeze. It makes it really easy to just slap your stickers on whatever storage you're gonna be using, whether it be baggies or another type of storage container system. And this bad boy has 47 colors. And looking at that photo or of that picture of the image, you would not believe that it had 47. I am plumb out of uh, storage containers right now and everything is kind of, if, if you guys could see my, um, my desk and my desk out in the living room that have all of my store or all of my drills in for projects that I have kitted up, you would think I was insane. But uh, I do have more coming and they'll be here tomorrow. I had hoped based on this picture that I was gonna be able to kit this up and start it right away. I have one Harbor Freight storage container left available and that has 24 colors available in it, or 24 containers available in it. So there's no way that I'm gonna be able to kit this up and get started on it today, which is a total bummer. But it is pretty thrilling that you do have that many colors because that's just gonna make for that much more of a detailed image. The more colors you have, the more detail you're going to be able to get. So um, looking at the 47 symbols that are in this diamond painting, I don't see anything that is out of the ordinary um, that I haven't seen before from Diamond Art Club. You have a mixture of letters, numbers, and symbols, and they all look um, fairly fairly well differentiated from each other. If they're even remotely similar, they have different color backgrounds. I don't have, I don't see any of the, the one thing I like to watch out for is if you have that corner arrow to one side, sometimes you'll have it up to the other side as well. And then if they have the same color background, that can get a little bit confusing if you are twisting your canvas in different directions while you're working on it but there's only that one arrow there, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. So let's set our drills to the side and get this canvas out and look at it. And it is going to be so much fun to work on. I, I really do like this image. This is not the decorative style of my house at all, but I, might find a place to hang this because I really do like it. I don't know. There's just something about it that caught my eye and I really, really do think it is a beautiful image. Um, just that stark tree against the sunrise or sunset, your choice, uh, with the darkness and the clouds. It's just, I think it's just a very, very nice image. So let's take a look at um, the stickiness of the canvas. I've never had a problem with stickiness of the canvas on Diamond Art Club. And this is a very sticky canvas, so that's all good. Um, we'll take a look at the drill field for clarity. I've also never had a problem with drill field clarity from Diamond Art Club. And I don't see, excuse me, I choked a little. I don't see any problem with these symbols either. They all look very, very good. Um, it looks like you're gonna have an opportunity to do lots of multi-placing. It looks like there's color blocked sections. So in other words, you're not gonna have tons of one of confetti, you know, in a certain area, you're gonna have blocks of color that are gonna be similar, or I'm sorry, that are gonna be the same in a certain grouping, or, you know, a certain area. So that's kind of my favorite. It's kind of the sweet spot is to get, you know, a, a, a lot of colors in there, but not have to be placing 50 different colors in a four inch square. You know, it's, that's always nice. That's always nice. And you know, there's actually a lot less black on here than what you would think by looking at the image. So I anticipate we're going to have a lot of probably either 939 or 3371. So, yep, yeah, it looks like we're going to have quite a bit of 3371. 
So let's take a look at the drills and see what they look like. If I seem a little rushed today, I am in a little bit of a hurry. I've got to take, I've got to go pick Nate up from school. He usually rides the bus home, but today um, he has to go get some immunizations. So I need to pick him up early from school uh, to go get his immunizations. But I wanted to get this filmed before I went because I wanted to start it today, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that. Darn Diamond Art Club giving me all these colors, I tell ya. All right, so we only have, amazingly, there's only one bag of 310s. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a hefty bag, but there's only one bag of 310s. Then we do have four bags of 3371. And I don't know what it is, but this 3371, which is that very, very dark brown that's almost black, it looks extra dark to me for some reason. I don't know if it's the lighting in this room right now against the time outside, you know, shining in my window, but it looks really, really dark. I'm just taking a quick glance at the backs of these drills. Um, I'm looking for garbage in the drill packs, and I'm also looking for any concave drills. And I see a couple pin pricks on the backs of the drills, but no um, concavity. That's the word I made up. And uh, none of that, and uh, no problems with you know severe dimpling or anything on the backs of those dark drills. So that's good to know. You have more of a problem, I think, with square drills than with rounds, but it's still good to know and, and give a look out for those kinds of things. So we have three big bags of 938 brown. What symbol is that? That's the alien. Yeah, that's going to be in a lot of places. 321 red. 815 burgundy. My favorite 814 burgundy. Maybe that's why I like this. Um, image so much is because it has two big bags of 814 and one bag of 815 and those are a couple of my favorite colors in a diamond painting. Then we have a 666 red and a 3799 very dark gray. So those drills have a lot in them and the rest of these drill packs are not so full. Well this this strand this string has quite a few but not as big as the other ones. So we have another $37.99, so that's two of those. A 413 gray, a 317 gray. 3855 is a dark tan. 414 gray, 779 brown. 129, I did not anticipate that there would be ABs in this kit and I did not look for that when we were looking at the legend. So we do have two ABs, it looks like, in the kit, uh, 129 and 141. 129 is our first one right here, and this is this very pretty pale yellow. If you're not sure what an AB is, it stands for Aurora Borealis, which means the Northern Lights. And what it is is an iridescent coating that's put on the drills that gives it a multicolored shimmer, extra sparkle um, when it's on the can. well, anytime, but... When it's on the canvas, it's going to give off a multicolored shimmer. So then we have 3860 Moth, 3854, 402, 3776, and 301, all different browns, four different browns. 606 Red, 318 Gray, 3861 Moth, 141 is our other AB, and that's going to be white. 3733 pink, 3731 pink, 898, and 3772 brown. Now we're going to get to our bag that has very few, very few drills per color, which is fine. So these are just going to be our little accent colors. We have 400 brown, 415, and 451 gray. 3834 purple. Hmm, I wonder where that's going to go. 3801 salmon. 300 brown. 3705 pink. 3864 tan. 3326 pink. 452 mauve. 
3350 magenta, 3727 pink, 762 light gray, 3023 light sage, 894 bubblegum pink, 3856 tan, 3787 green, 453 light gray, 917 magenta, and 648 tan. And those are the 47. Wow, I still, that kind of baffles me that there's 47 colors in here. Maybe I could hit up like the 24 most prevalent colors in my one um, Harbor Freight that I currently have available and leave the others until I get my storage tomorrow. No, Angie, you can wait until tomorrow. Come on. Be, don't be so silly. I've got plenty of things to do. I'm working on um, a couple of uh, DAC kits right now, my Chuck Pinson um, for the Chuck Along uh, Honey Drip Farm, and then I also started the Keys of the Savage Garden by Anise Guerrero uh, for Drills and Chills. So I started those both yesterday, so I should be able to keep myself busy. But I went a whole month, you guys, without starting anything, and I am just chomping at the bit. I want to start everything. I want to start all the projects. So, and I am starting today my Josephine wall kits. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm gonna try to do a section of each of those, one from Diamond Painting Deutschland, one from Uniquely Yours Down Under, um, and show and be able to give an evaluation of what I think of each of those. And then I also do have Spirit of Flight from Diamond Art Club, which is another Josephine wall kit. And I do have that kitted up. I should get that out and work on that one at the same time. And I'll work on all three of those Josephine wall kits at the same time and kind of see what I think about each different, you know, my experience with each different canvas. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. I know that Katie from Diamonds and Washi just did that big comparison between Spirit of Flights from two different companies. So I'm not going to do anything formal like that, but just for my own internal, you know, comparison, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll break that out and give it a whirl. I love starting new things. You guys know that. If you've been around a while, you know I love starting new things. I've already also started some new cross stitch stuff. So, all right, now I'm rambling. This isn't a whip and chat. This is an unboxing. Let me get back on topic here. Um, what I was going to do was look for the AB drills, and I think I know exactly where they're going to be in this diamond painting. So we have symbol number one and symbol number two, and they're going to be all in this tree. So any place you see the light yellow in this tree is going to be the number one, which is the light yellow AB. And any place you see the white is going to be the number two, which is the white AB. And that's going to look fantastic. That's going to look really, really cool. That's going to give it a really nice effect. In addition to that, down here on the bottom, there are a few number ones sprinkled in along the bottom um, coastline area of the painting. So that's what I got. Um, that was my most recent purchase from Diamond Art Club. And I don't think I have anything on the way from them. Um, I've been really good the last few weeks. I missed out on the Anise Guerrero that got released last week. Um, it was sold out before. I was on my way home from up north. I was driving, so I didn't have a chance to get online and nab that. And I know that um, it was discontinued or whatever right away, but I'm hoping maybe it'll get recharted and re, um, re released because I would like to keep my collection complete of all of her diamond paintings. I love, love, love that artist. So, but anyway, this is Cherry Tree by Deborah Malcolm. Beautiful, different, um, gorgeous. Gotta decide where I'm gonna put it. Maybe I'll put it in my hallway. I don't have a really a motif or a theme for my hallway. I don't know any, I mean, maybe some people do, but I don't. Maybe the hallway would be a great place for this. So, all right. Thank you guys for being here with me. If you, sorry, this was a little bit all over the place. Kind of turned it into more of a chatty time than an unboxing. Um, but thank you for being here with me and joining me in checking this new canvas out that I just received. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. I uh, will link this in the description. So thank you and I will see you all in my next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.